Good. Hello, everybody. I think we're, uh, yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Yeah. Hi. How are you? <laughs> you know, I just looked at my neck. I should have changed this shirt. I feel like those those ads on TV about you know, honey, you should, you know. And I uh, I I can't. I got to do something about that. Anyway, let's see here. Where do we go? Okay, let's admit all. Okay, let me make sure that everybody on here are people that I want. Yeah, because we have to watch that lately. There's sometimes people not doing as we should do it. Hello, Rick. How are you, my friend? I'm good, man. You? I'm fine. How about you, Charlie? You doing okay? Oh, yeah. I'm doing great. Edward Berger looks like somebody just beat him up. Oh, there he is. Now he's okay. Uh, uh, Mandy O'Brien. Hello, Mandy. You're at home today. Hello. Oh, oh yeah. Federal there's, holiday. There's, I forget. You know, when you're not working anymore, you forget it's holidays, you know. And there's Len LaFrisco, my old friend. And uh, Paula, turn on your uh, camera. You there, Paula? No, she turned on her mic off her microphone. Anyway, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll admit to all more people being joined. Uh, we got uh, Marjorie's joining us and uh, Scott Boddicker calling us again as I live and breathe. This <laughs> and, and let me see here. Paula, you having trouble, Paula? No, I'm coming. Oh, there you are. Uh, I'm coming, did you say? Hang on. Oh. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. I heard that someplace. I'll have what she's having. Yeah, so let me take it. <laughs> I can put the chatter. Yeah. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, and it's, uh, and who knows, we may have more people joining us as well. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm starting to cough because they're working right outside the window here. If you hear some pounding, they're, they're working on the, I think they're below me now, I guess. They were right outside the window earlier. Working. What is that noise coming from? Hmm. I don't care. Anyway. Uh, let me see here. Where, 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 where do we start today? Well, I, I had a great fear. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell is that? You know what I'm talking about? You hear it? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. yeah no, it's not you. It's not you, Boddicker. How about uh, how about uh, you, Edward? Hit, I don't know. Hit mute. Don't... Hit mute. Hey, Just no, mean, hit all right. uh, oh, here it is. That's it here. Oh, it's gone. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Now start up again. Mute you yourself again. All right. Yeah. It when you mute, it, it goes away. Uh huh. Something wrong with this? Hello, might hello, hello. Might be. Welcome to Tech Talk with Alex. <laughs> you know. Thank you for calling technical support. That's right. That's yeah, okay now. It seems fine. Good. Can't have a problem. Doesn't doesn't matter anyway. That's now, anyway, right. I had a big fear because for weeks I've been waiting for this show, The Last of Us, to come on. Uh, and it came on last night. And it, I it, I've been playing this game for the better part in various incarnations of it for the last couple of years. And it wasn't until the last year I realized there was actually a story there because I went past all these cut scenes because they just wanted to shoot zombies, you know. But I went back and watched it from the beginning and suddenly realized it's a real story. It's a great story. And um, when it was coming on to be a series, I told Marjorie, we gotta, you got to watch it. And I, kept, I must have bored her to tears with all the things I was telling her about it. Oh, Jeff's trying to call. Jeff, don't call the show. Don't call my women. Now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Jeff, is that you? Zoom. Oh, Jeff, I'm doing the show right now. <laughs> so just call us using Zoom. Facebook. Okay, fine. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so uh, I... 
I had, I, I kept telling her about this show and how much I was looking forward to it. And every time there's something in the paper about it, I would tell her about it. She probably got sick of me. And I was just worried that she says, well, I'll watch one episode. That's what she always says about things. Where usually you got to watch two because the first one is a pilot and they're just establishing stuff. So I had the greatest fear. I watched it last night when it went on and I had the greatest fear she wouldn't like it. Guess what, Marjorie? Yeah. What'd you think of it? It's okay. I'll watch the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? See? Wow. Anybody else watch it, by the way? What's it on? It's on HBO Max. No, not, not yet. <laughs> and it's called The Last of Us. Yeah. So I suggest it. It's really, it really was very well done. And if you've never played the game, it doesn't leave you out at all. In fact, I kind of felt it left me out a little bit because as someone who played the game, I had pre-expectations of where the plot line would go. And it starts off a little differently and there are different elements in it. And yet they made it into a full bodied really good show that Marjorie didn't feel she missed anything by not playing the game, you know. So um, is this about is this about survivors at the end of civilization? Is that what, is that what the Yeah, in 2023 is when it takes place. <laughs> oh, that's <funny. laughs> oh wonderful. And, it, and instead of a instead of a, a virus getting us, a fungus does. That attacks the brain <laughs> and takes it over. You know, well, that, that explains a lot. Yeah. Actually. In, in its desire to survive. I already got it. Um, I'm going to put this guy on. He's never done this show. But this is Trucker Steve. He is at times oh. called our nighttime show. He's and on, he's on the road again, he says. So we'll we'll see what Trucker Steve had uh, a kidney problem. And he I think he's still waiting for a kidney. Um. Hi, Trucker Steve. How are you? Hello. Yeah, you're up there in Canada, right? Yeah, London, you, Ontario. Yeah, you're still waiting for the uh, kidney, right? Yeah, they gave me a call last week, and then they told me I was the backup. So, and then they called me again and said I'm not getting it, so I have to wait now. Wow, that's okay. got to be. That, I'm sorry to hear that. You know. But this is a happy show, so we we don't we don't get into depressing stuff. No, we're talking about funguses that end the world. <laughs> Fungus, fungi right. that end the world, yeah. But fungi. it's it, it's a, it's a great show about a guy and this little girl who he's got to transport from one part of the country to the other, you know. And so that's uh, Trucker Steve. It's Trucker Steve, <laughs> yeah. But you know what you know what I was thinking about uh, when I was watching this is how many games, science fiction pictures, and everything all take place in an apocalyptic world. You know, we have no faith for the human race when it comes to science fiction. No, you or know. the real world. Well, I think that's what yeah. made Star Trek different: is it was a positive outlook on the war on the future, as opposed to no, a I'm negative. No, the real world. Huh? I'm talking about the real world. Oh, well, the real world is apocalyptic. There's no question about it. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, anyway, that's that. That's all we have to talk about. That that's our big deal. Hmm. You know, it used to be I always had lots of stuff to talk about because I went out and did stuff. Yeah, but it's winter. Yeah. Winter. Then summer, I go. It's too hot. You know. It's come on. Cold. Well, it's too cold now. Jews don't go out in any weather. Okay? <laughs> it's too no, it's hot. It's to be, too cold. It's supposed to be 60 here tomorrow. So that means it'll probably be 60 up there on Wednesday. Really? You think so? Yep. It's supposed to be in the 50s tomorrow, I think, here. Really? Or, or Wednesday. <laughs> and we're not even out of winter yet, are we? No. We're in the, oh. the middle of winter. Yeah. Winter doesn't We're change the so top, in top tier of winter at the moment. Isn't February supposed to be the worst month for, for winter? Usually it's the beginning of March when you get that one big snowstorm. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, have, we haven't storm. really had snow. We've had a couple of flurries. That's it. Yeah, Saturday we had a few flurries for about 10 minutes. Well, I in noticed California. Paula. Paula's wearing a scarf. How's the weather in Cleveland? Uh, it's cold. 
but it's uh, acceptable. It's not California, you know. You get oh my God, people. it rained here last night like I've never seen in the 30 years I've been here. It was unbelievable. Well, that's 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 because all you people out there were bitching about drought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and because you're not raking the forest. And well, that's our problem. <laughs> 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 or God has a sense of humor. How about that yeah. one? Yeah. Glenn, did yeah. it fill up the lake? Did, it, did you get a lot of snow it, there, Paula? It's filling them up, uh, Marjorie. Yes, they're doing better. Sorry. Oh, I, I used to live, and when I lived in Marin, I used to go hiking up in the hills of Marin, and yeah. there was like five r- lakes that mm-hmm. worked as the reservoirs for Marin County mm-hmm. Lake Phoenix, Lake Bon Tempe, Lake. Um, Wobegon. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, there were about five lakes there, and I saw pictures of them a couple of months ago, and they were bone dry. Yeah. So they got to be filled up now, right? Things are filling up slowly, and, and they're they're trying to do it, you know, the right way and get things. Some of them are full, you know, like Lake Shasta is down, still down, you know, 100 feet or something, you know, and if you think about the capacity, it's incredible. So they're yeah. waiting, they're, they want, they need to keep it low because the snow melt will come in um, at the end and really fill them up so what right. happened with with uh with the lake tahoe did it go down a little bit yeah over the a little over bit the years. Yeah. yeah but not as much yeah that lake is very deep it's like six thousand feet deep or something ridiculous yeah yeah we were uh, married there we were married there no oh. yeah on the shores of lake tahoe <laughs> and you didn't throw him in it so that's good <laughs> If she if she were smart, she would have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. She, but um, and how's everything down in Georgia, Mandy? How's everything down in Georgia? And she didn't turn on her mic. Turn on your mic. You're on mute. You're on mute. There we go. Oh, sorry, I thought. Yeah. How's everything down in uh, Georgia? You were the one. You were the one with the bad audio, by the way. Yeah, it's it's making like static. That's why I put myself on mute. I may leave and get up on my phone. I'm on my laptop. I don't know. Well, you probably could use the laptop. It might just sign off and go back, come back on again. Got a browser on. No, that is. I'll just. Well. I usually. Oh, I'm yeah. The best thing to do is probably just just uh, sign off, Mandy, and then sign back on. Okay. 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 Yeah. Somehow there's a little crackly, whatever, and it may go away. It doesn't go away. Somebody shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I tell my wife every time she has electronical problems. I just say, do a reboot. You'll be fine. The reboot is always the best solution to almost anything. Yep. You know. Um, let me see here. So anyway, so how 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 have you all been? How's it, uh, how, Vernon? How is it in Kentucky? Okay. Well, it's rainy today, and my wife and I are kind of staying apart because she tested positive for COVID last week. Oh, no. really? Did she have? Did she get all her shots? She had all the vaccinations and boosters and all that stuff, but she started feeling really nasty a week ago Saturday. And so we tested on Monday and it came back positive. So we tested again last Saturday and she was still positive. Both times I tested negative. So did she have bad symptoms at all? No, they're they're relatively mild other than lethargic, but she did have some chest congestion, but no fever. Is she taking the pills, those pills? No, they they said that there are too many drug interactions. The doctor did not recommend she take them. Well, they asked us what when we took them, when we took that uh, what what's it called? Uh, uh, Paxlovid. 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 Uh, when we took it, they he said, "Do not take this and do not take that while you're taking this." You mm. know, and, and uh, but it it uh, supposedly for a lot of people it saved their. You know, it saved their existence. So, what the hell? You know, but uh, <clears throat> the um, it's funny. You know, we say, "Does she have all her shots?" And that, didn't we used to say that about our pets <laughs> <laughs> and our children? 
Well, our exactly. kids, our children yeah. have all their shots. Kids. You know? yeah. I mean, every I, I, yeah, I have all my shots. I got, I got my uh, COVID. I got uh, five of those, and then I have my distemper. So I'm okay. Distemper <laughs> <laughs> not working. All you need now is rabies. <clears throat> yeah, rabies yeah. is next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, so uh, uh, what's happening? What's happening out there? Anything mm. really? You know. Uh, our, our president uh, has some problems, I think, I heard. Yeah. I thought we're not going to do politics. We're not doing politics. You were kind of gearing. We're into- doing, I took my homework. Mm-hmm. Oh. Here, well, here's my question. Okay. This is not necessarily political, but they found all oh. these things at his house, like top secret. Let's say they found top secret, which they did. I think one item was top secret. Isn't he the president now? Can't he have that stuff at home? It depends if it's uh, compartmental. If it's compartmental intelligence, no. You're What's only compar- supposed to view. If it's special compartmentalized intelligence, you can only watch that in a skiff, and you cannot take it home with you. Well, what's compartmental mean? It's it's like sources. If you got human intel and things, and you don't want anybody to find out who your sources are. Yeah. That's okay. an example of compartmental. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And yeah. this is all stuff from when he was vice president. So this stuff is old, you know. Well, I hear that. I All I hear is that that top secret document is the formula for Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something interesting when uh, when uh, uh, the, the general who was Trump's second chief of staff, there's a book now, out now where he was interviewed and the whole shift between Trump and Kim Jong-un was his idea in order to avoid a nuclear war. Because if you remember, think back, he was calling Kim Jong-un little rocket man and all these derogatory terms. And then all of a sudden they're writing love letters to each other. Well, that was John Kelly's idea to to flatter Kim Jong-un just so he would maybe back off on the nuclear Holocaust. Really? Oh, well, I don't want to get into that stuff. That's depressing, all that stuff. Why don't, Mandy, why don't you just mute yourself unless you want to talk? That would probably be the best thing. I don't know where that chatter is coming from, uh, but it's, uh, you know. What the hell? You know uh, Maybe it's coming from her microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're supposed to be really smart nowadays. <laughs> Uh, smart microwaves yeah they have them too now refrigerators See, yeah yeah, yeah. I, we, we could we were gonna get wi-fi in the refrigerator but then the one we ordered we had to tell them not to send us because it it was wi-fi one inch from being able to fit in the elevator yeah the toaster got pissed off wi-fi in the refrigerator, <laughs> what what marjorie do you need wi-fi for a refrigerator right i have no that's no i understand i under i understand the oven i can turn my oven on you understand your oven i love that i hope it's not gas though (laughs) no we can't turn up that we can't turn the stove on but we can turn the oven on how many people can say that they understand their oven i bet that's wonderful (laughs) no but my oven is a pain in the ass because it keeps sending oh, now, me, now you're now you're you're genderizing. It keeps sending me messages to my watch saying I need to be cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get enough problems with Marjorie nudging me, not, uh, not just having our you know our our stove nudging me. That's that's why you can't have a cat because then the litter box would be constantly telling you it needs to be cleaned. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Now with Wi-Fi, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, turns, it turns out that the whole world is being run by a robot. That's right. Yeah. Out of, out of central Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, right. uh-huh. But uh, they do have refrigerators with uh, Wi-Fi, and I can't figure out for what, you know. It turns the light on and off. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't do that. 
I it just, opens the door. One of them has a camera in it. So if you're at the store, you can like look in there to see. Oh, let's oh, you have enough milk. Okay, good. <laughs> so you can look inside your refrigerator and see what's there and what isn't there. Yeah. So yeah. You, can, yes. you can decide if you need milk or whatever. Yeah. That's a, you know, that sounds like something like Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like in the refrigerator. Great idea. That's a great idea. It kind of takes the fun away from something, but I can't figure what. <laughs> you know? What's really well, funny I'll tell you the one thing have... that, that we had that was safe and a good idea. My mother-in-law would cook something with the gas on, mm -hmm. and then she would take the stuff over and she'd forget to turn off the gas. Ooh. So Ooh. we found out that you do that too, right? So, me too. But anyway, she got a, a magnetic thing. You got to use stainless tubes. Yes, yeah. and then it automatically when you pick up the stainless steel stuff that you're cooking, it shuts off automatically. That's, that's, wow, that's a good idea. That's yeah, it's a safety idea. idea. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah, those are amazing. And how much more do they, how much how much more do they charge for that? Oh. Well, they only work with steel pans, not aluminum, um, and because stainless, it, uh, it creates a magnetic field that warms the stuff right. up. So, yeah. Pretty you, cool. You can turn you that can't wear a pacemaker, pacemaker anywhere near it, but <laughs> wow. Alex, if you come over, maybe I could give it to you because <laughs> nobody else is using it now. Oh, really? The oven, the whole oven, whole stove? Well, just that electrical part. Oh, I see. And the um uh yeah, yeah. I um uh, no, I I I uh, I just don't like all these things talking to me, you know. <laughs> But it's nice that I have that everything has Wi-Fi now, and there are microwaves with Wi-Fi, yeah. which I could see because I, I could, see. could say, you know, Alexa, turn on microwave. To, but you got to you've got to put something in the microwave, and then you set it to to run. So if you're putting it in there and you're there already, <laughs> hit the button. What do you need oh. the damn Wi-Fi for to turn it on? You want to hear something you, funny? You're going to go in the next room and go, you know, Alexa, turn on microwave for 30 seconds. <laughs> you want to hear yes. something funny? What? Okay. I work at Home Depot part time. And the area that I work is right across from kitchen appliances. And we do have some of those refrigerators with the screens on the front on the front side. Mm -hmm. And it says on there, not twice to turn the screen on. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, We'll have them out on the floor, not connected to anything, and people will walk up and knock on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our, our stove, our stove, you can see the oven light by just tapping twice on the door. Yeah. <laughs> the, all, the, all of them have these new little wrinkles, you know. You got the refrigerators with the Wi-Fi. You've got the microwaves with the Wi-Fi. Um. The yeah. cars have so many things you wouldn't believe. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't even know what to do. I haven't I haven't driven in so long, I wouldn't know what to do with a car these days. You know. Um, we're leasing a new a new car and uh it actually avoided a collision the other day because some guy was in front of me and he he suddenly veered over into the other lane and the other car in front of him was stopped. Wow. And, and so my my car automatically braked. Nice. Oh, wow. Really? What kind of car is it? It's a Hyundai Ionic. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Is that electric? No, it's a hybrid, though. Oh, okay. Oh, those I are good. A, those uh, are really nice. Those cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I just it's been so long since I've driven a car. <laughs> I think it's been maybe four years, Marjorie. Oh well, no, it's what? been twice as long for me. Yeah, that I don't know if I can drive anymore. it's very distracting you know you used to be have a muscle memory where you turned on the heat you turned on whatever now it's a screen so things are different places different times you got to look when you turn but, the, but when people are driving let's say they want to turn the heat on and so they have to use the screen isn't that distracting you from That's watching the road yeah. Yeah. yeah it's exactly what I'm saying. Well, i mean it seems to be that you you feel it and turn it right yeah there, there's they're losing the buttons. They're going to all soft uh, you know, screens. Yeah, but 
But why don't they do it so that somehow it projects itself onto your window? There's some that do that, but not for buttons, though. I mean, you yeah, know, but, you, uh, but you could do that. You know, you, if you have touch screens, you can have touch windows. I've got you a can, touch pad that I can use. It's but it's distracting. Yeah, but I mean, all of this is distracting. I mean, you want to talk about uh, <laughs> people saying, oh, don't do this. It's distracting for your driving, texting and driving. What, what, yes, Paula. I want to share a memory that I don't, I'm trying to think if, if Marjorie, if you're, if you're going to remember this. Um, With my Marjorie, memory. Ma Marjorie doesn't remember <laughs> anything anymore. <laughs> this is just a memory. When I was 16 and I got my, my uh, permit, Marjorie took me out for, for, she was a licensed driver. <laughs> <laughs> and we were very big shots because, so we had to, uh, we had to, smoke a cigarette while we were driving the car. Of course. <laughs> Do you remember this, Marjorie? No. So, uh, <laughs> so the first time that we went out, <laughs> I was trying to do this 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 number and um, I, I didn't quite make the turn and I had an accident. My parents, of course, never knew why. <laughs> wow. but, you know, well, let me let me ask you this because, that would tell your parents because a lot of people <laughs> here have have cars these days and modern cars have they done away with the cigarette lighter yeah yeah, yeah. no one in my yeah. car so what do they use for electricity they actually have a plug they have, yeah, they have a, there's, a, yeah, there's a plug you can yeah. you know power plug receptacles. It in. almost all cars yeah. have usb ports now yeah yeah Okay, but and how about an electrical plug where you can plug things in, but yeah. there's no cigarette lighter involved with it. Yeah, right. you, can't, you have to no buy one. Because no for energy. years, for years, you didn't get a cigarette lighter with your with your car, but you did get the plug. So because a lot of things did plug yeah. in those chargers and things like yeah. that. I have no memory of what we how we lit our cigarettes, but uh, but I do remember that that smoking a cigarette, having the window down, and putting your hand out the window, and Driving the car, that was that was like cool. How about you, uh, Mandy? Not help us. Let's <laughs> let's get Mandy in on this. Uh, uh, how about your car? Does it? How do you? If you want to plug something, it's electric into it. Does it have a plug for yeah, that? Yeah, my car. I have, I have a car that's um, my car is like 2011 or something, but I had to get a new adapter for it, and it's it it plugs into what I would consider the cigarette lighter, but it's really just a power source. Yeah, and it's got two different slots: one for a regular USB, and then one for the newer, smaller um, plug yeah. for like the newer iPhones. So that's how I charge my my phone. Yeah, yeah. And then I have like a a Bluetooth adapter that I plug in. It's like inside of my console, mm -hmm. and it's like this little Bluetooth adapter that I can get. I can play my music through. Um, my car. Yeah. Well, how old? Is, how old is your car? It's a 2011, so it's 12 years old. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not it's not modern. Yeah. It's not super up to date. I bought. I just ended up getting rid of. I did have a hybrid. I love. I just got rid of that car and I got just an old used car just to save money. Yeah, I guess probably the person who has the <laughs> the newest car is Vernon. I would imagine, right? Vernon? 2021. It's a 2021. 2021, anybody clo closer to now? Any 2022s? Uh, going once, going twice. Uh, Jeff? 22. 22. Uh, Honda CRV with uh, hybrid. With hybrid. Uh, so, well, how I many miles to the gallon? Uh, how many miles to get to the gallon? Probably 36 or 7. Really? When I'm just driving around doing nothing, that's good. I yeah. get forty in the city and fifty-five on the highway. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah I had a hybrid. I loved it. I loved it, but you know, I got rid of it. But I have a Honda CRV, but it is not a hybrid, so I'm mm -hmm. a little jealous. Well, the only thing I would I would get maybe a hybrid today, but I also might just get an electric car. But, by the way, Mandy, I don't know what the problem is today with your. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Any, uh, Anytime you want to talk, just you know, turn it off. I'm I'm sorry about me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So any- one thing, one thing my car does that is nice is that we get, pair my phone and my wife's phone. So anytime we get into the car, whichever one of us gets in first, the car will automatically pair to that phone. Yeah. And that way, if somebody calls, there's it's hands-free operation. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm trying to decide how my car decides that because it seems to pick my wife every time. And it's just <laughs> <me off. laughs> well, it probably likes her better. And that's what yeah. she says, yes. And now let's talk to Shecky and tell us about all the modern conveniences <laughs> in his car. It says 1900 it's a 95 model. Toyota. A 95 <laughs> Toyota. And he wow. took it in for an inspection the other day. And the only thing he needed was new brakes. And you said to your memory, that's the first time you've replaced the brakes. Yeah, and it was 800 bucks. And what are wow. you going to do? Now get this. How many miles on that? What, how many year old car? 30, 27 well, year old? 27, I think. Yeah. About 60,000. <laughs> That's nothing. Well, Talk about a little old lady's car. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, saying. I always refer to myself. I'm the little old lady from Pasadena. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you, that's terrific. You know. Well, I, you know, you've heard me go on and on about it. I get on the highway and these idiots are driving 80 miles an hour, weaving in and out of traffic, where I'm just in like the middle lane, quietly doing 60 and like, I don't want to get involved. Mm. Yeah. But you also now don't really drive many places. You have a friend drive you. Well, Randy takes me places. Yeah. Because you just just don't want to have to deal with that traffic. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm the idiot now who sits next to her going, Randy, look at that car. It's about to cut in front of us. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember any time in my life people driving that insane. And I'd say that every day. You know, for any amount of real driving that I did, I haven't done for, well, since mm-hmm. I left California, which was over 15 <laughs> years ago. And there, I drove every day, every place. I, you know, I used to say when you're born as a kid in California, you're actually born with a car on your feet. You know, I mean, it's, it's like you you live for for the car. And I, um, uh, uh, so since then, the only time I've ever driven is when I've rented a car. You know, maybe it's no fault insurance where if the guy clocks you, he just walks away from it. I yeah. don't know. If that's what it is. Is it no fault insurance now? And that's the reason why. But their insurance will go I'm just up. I'm guessing at that. But... Yeah, but their insurance will go up if they have an accident. Won't it? I don't know. Yeah. Not if it's a rental. Yeah. Mm. You don't have insurance. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Or if it's a lease, again, I don't yeah. know. Well, a lease is probably, uh, you have to have uh, insurance also. Yeah, if you have if you have a lease, the the lesser wants you to have insurance. Right? Yeah, yeah. How much is insurance these days? See, these are things that I've completely been left out of now. It, in California, it's based on number of miles you drive and the and the cost of your car. Yeah. Um, and I have never had an accident. I'm you know I'm not going to wood here. Yeah. I pay about a hundred dollars a month for a twenty twenty. What about the time and how many miles you drive? You 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 self report, you know. I mean, yeah. I don't. They don't come out and check, but you tell them. I so what, what's your them. average mileage? Like when I was in California, I had a girlfriend who thought that I was cheating on it because she used to check my mileage. <laughs> and, and I I drove everywhere. I mean, I drove a lot, and I must have put thirty five thousand miles a year on a car. There are people out here that still do that. They drive from the Central Valley and whatever. I was doing 12 to 14. Now I'm doing about six. <laughs> a year? Yeah. A day. Yeah. I mean, the, why, did, why don't you just, why car? do you need a car? Just buy a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, <you're almost. laughs> yeah. I got to well, go Alex, visit my you mother. Said to me on the phone house. yesterday, where am I going to go? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Let me, let, let's just say I was flush with cash and I bought a car. So you got to be flush with cash. To have a car in Manhattan. Yeah. You know, you yeah, uh, buying the car first of all. Okay. So that, that I can go. But then you got to do the insurance and then parking. Yeah. You get a garage in New York City for five hundred dollars a month. Oh, easy. You know? So does the, your building have any parking in it? 
No, they should, but they haven't done anything with it. We do have a basement. We still have the basement. horse stables in the basement. We still have the horse stables over here. Do they really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. 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 They used to have the horses down in the basement. Uh, and uh, we actually, if you look at our courtyard, we actually have a driveway, but you can't fit a car in that driveway or would have a hard time cars. going around. What? It's for horses. It was for horses yeah. and carriages. Yeah. Yeah, I had a carriage. It, yeah, that, and they a, and, and so they kept them all downstairs, and uh, they had the stables for them, and you could huh. park your horse, so to speak, throw a bale of hay at them, and <laughs> you could, so you could have a pet, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> that is a form of pet, isn't it? I didn't stop to think. About it. Look at my, look at my. I, this is look at that. You ever see those ads on TV with the guy who's like yeah. got the, the thing and it and, and and look at it. I've got one of those kind of shirts. But Marjorie won't let me get the stuff that will fix them because it's got chemicals in it. Well, I can't <laughs> put it in with my wash, that's for sure. That's for damn sure. But anyway, so, I mean, you know, I just haven't driven a car in so long. I don't understand, know what, what goes on with this, except when I talk to Shecky, because he's got a car that's 27 years old that I can relate to. You can deal with it. And the car is fine. <laughs> The car is fine, drivers. except for some guy ruined the, the handle on the yeah. driver's car. <laughs> oh, yeah, who could that be? You know, by the way, Shaggy, let me mention, if that's all that's happened to that car in 27 years, <laughs> you're pretty fortunate. Have you ever had an accident in that car? No. See? You need to be on a Toyota commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had one speeding ticket. It's because I came back from Europe. And I was driving 100 miles an hour on the Clearview Expressway. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot I was going by a speed trap. Oh, okay. Well, the only thing, I'll tell you the one thing is, is that I uh, 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 really, for years, always when I lived in California, and I think Len would agree with me on this because he lives in California. I don't know if Charlie would because of where he is. But I, when your car was three years old, you got a new one. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. Not I, anymore. I do. Hmm? Yeah. I, I've done that historically. I think now I'm going to stop as I'm getting toward retirement. You know, I was leasing my car for three years. Yeah. The lease came up a couple months ago, and I just decided to just buy it outright because I don't want to deal with it anymore. You want to know something? You're probably in pretty good shape there because what happened was – People went and leased cars. Yeah. I can't stand that. <laughs> Throw the shirt out and put a, a regular one on. Well, I'm not going to leave here just to put a shirt on. Okay. No, but after the show, you can throw it out. Why don't you bring me a shirt? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> okay. See? So, anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, that's, a, leasing a, that's car. a good idea. Oh, they, they said that if you're leasing a car, the best thing for you to do now is to take that <clears throat> option to buy it. Yep. And the reason is, is that because the cost of cars have gone up sufficiently, yep. for you to do that to buy a new car would cost <clears throat> more than it would cost for you to keep that one and lease it, and you could still sell it for more than you bought it for. Yeah, my that's car was my 60. plan. My car was sixty five thousand new. I got it for thirty six. Three years. And how much was it new? Sixty five, I think. Oh, and it was thirty something. And it's, my buyout was thirty six. That's not bad at all. And how no. much is that car worth now? If you were to trade that, give the uh, mid forties, I think. See, so that the, you're you're coming out ahead now. Absolutely, that's why I did it. The one wow. I'm leasing right now, the the sticker price on it was just under forty thousand, and the buyout the buyout at the end of the three year lease is seventeen something. Oh, so I'm shit, I'm definitely good. I'm definitely going to buy it after the that's end of the lease. Really good. If you yeah. if, if you want to keep a car that's that old, you know, in California, we did, to begin with. I don't understand this whole thing about leasing cars from this standpoint. And I, mind you, in California, I had two cars. One I owned outright, and the other, who's calling me? <laughs> what is this, yeah. you morons? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't it, answer it. Oh, uh, we're, don't we're say just, anything to the moron. Oh, do I know anybody in know, Avalon? So do I know anybody in Avalon, California? Avalon, that's Catalina Island. 
Is it? It is. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Cars. Uh, oh, cars. Least two cars. Least oh, I no, and I and I leased one car. It was an Acura. And uh, the thing I hated about leasing to begin with was you keep looking at the speedometer to make sure you're not using up the 35,000 miles over the three years that you're yep. not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. okay. Who goes 12,000 miles? Well, Lynn and Frisco. But who <laughs> else goes 12,000 miles? Uh, well, Shecky. But, Mandy, you do more than 12,000 miles a year, don't you? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um not much more than that. I live really close. Well, I did live really close to my office. Oh, okay. Um, now I live a little bit farther, but I don't do that much more. Maybe 15. Yeah. But anyway, so I just, you know, this whole thing of, of leasing a car is, is a relatively new thing. I mean, when I was a kid and when I was younger, uh, you bought a car. That was it. You paid for a car. You made a down payment. And you made payments for three years. All right. Three years, yeah. 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 Now, now you can get them for four years and five years, you know, and six years and seven years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah 80, 84 months is becoming more of a standard. It yeah. is. That's because cars are so expensive today. Yeah. I mean, you want to pay six or $700 a year. I mean, a month, we well, can get it down to four or 500, but stretch it out, you know, so yeah. people do. Hey, yeah. Alex, Alex, last uh, August, I bought a second car, a toy for myself mm -hmm. to use during the summer months, mm -hmm. and maybe the odd nice day in the winter. Got to be a com um, got to be a convertible. <laughs> well, kinda. It's an '86 Corvette with the heart oh. removable uh, top. Cool. Wow. wow, that's a and nice car. That car, brand new in '86, retails for thirty-one thousand. Wow. That all? And now Corvettes are in the one twenties, and I even saw one for, that was a special edition model. A guy bought it; on, he posted it on Facebook. Drove it for three hundred kilometers, okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then posted it on Facebook for sale for two hundred nineteen thousand. Jeez! Whoa! Whoa! Canadian dollars. Yeah, they're that's, they're like that's they're about uh, that's about twenty dollars in our money, isn't it? Nah. <laughs> it's not that bad. What what well, do you pickup trucks are like ninety grand now? Like pickup yeah. truck. Pickup yeah. truck is ninety grand. Yes, sir. What yeah. Is yeah. GMC, I saw one yesterday. Eighty eight thousand. That's Canadian dollars. Well, wow. That's a duty what? truck too. Are those Canadian? Do they have do are those dollars up there? What do they call the the coinage? Yeah, dollars. Canadian dollars. Uh, okay. Well, the yeah. uh, two just, dollar coin is called the toonie. The toonie. And, yeah. and the dollar coin is called the loonie because it has a. Uh, That's what I was thinking uh, of. Engraving of a, a loon a loon on it. Oh, okay. So that's just a kind of like a a fun name you it's attach funny. to it. Funny. Yeah. yeah, we call it a loonie. A loony. Canadian dollars were at 75 cents now. Wow. Canadians are loony. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. He, up there, they call their money loonies. And down here, we call our politicians that. So, you know, it's, uh, especially in Congress. Especially in Congress. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Hey, this guy, George Santos, huh? What a guy. What a guy. Marjorie keeps saying to me, I, they, they, they should get him out of office right now. And I go, no. No, absolutely not. Because if these people in Long Island voted for him, this is what they deserve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they should have to live with not being represented at all for the next, you know, two years till you can get And he out. sells newspapers. And he sells yeah. newspapers too. Yeah. Well, he was vetted by the Republicans, but they found the issues and they yeah, never but the Republicans anything. also were admitting. It was a phony vet. Oh, really? It's a phony vet. Yeah, because they supposedly his his uh, his uh, campaign had to run their own kind of opposition research to make sure he was OK. And they came up with all this stuff and they just said, let's forget it. Let's not pay attention to it. You know, so it's, it's I love I love politics today. It's so silly, you know. A lot but of people I, I, don't understand that the Congress cannot get rid of him unless it's a two-thirds vote. 
Right. Yeah, well, I mean, here's he could the be thing. expelled, right. but it takes two thirds to do it. Or until he gets indicted. Mm-hmm. It, well, well, if he's in prison, he also ask, what do you know, what's wrong with the politician a politician lying? Isn't that par for the course? <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. normal for Congress. That's a requirement. Yeah. yeah. He should be hailed as the next president. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, he'll be running for president soon because he'll make money off it. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's what I love is you can run for president. You raise money. And then if when you, of course, don't get the nomination. You get to keep it. You get to yeah. keep it. Mm -hmm. That's what Giuliani did. But then again, did. if you find idiots who are willing to give you money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey Alex, did you watch that Giuliani special? I, I watched. Uh, I watched about uh, an hour of it, of the second episode, I think. And yeah. I didn't want to find the rest of it because uh, it was kind of it was fascinating. It's really good. I had no idea well, he was like that. Well, Shecky, of course, is very, very aware of New York politics. I didn't realize that he was that hated as a mayor. Right. Until the buildings came down. Until the buildings that came. one off. Yeah. yeah. That was his manifesto. He was a genius. He was yeah. very Trump-esque with his he ego. He fired his wife the week before in um, behind the library on 42nd Street, whatever that park is called. Uh, Brian yeah. Park. Brian Park. Brian Park. Yeah, Brian's Park. And he, but he forgot to tell her. He, no, he he said he was leaving her in a press conference. Yeah, that's how she found that's what out. I'm saying. He went to a press conference <laughs> yeah. and hey, told Steve's her, toy. you know. Uh, well, who was, was it? Who, who was it? Uh, 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 the guy staying starts with a G, the congressman uh, who was the Speaker of the House. Um, oh, oh, geez. The one who divorced his wife in the hospital? The one I asked yeah. him. Gingrich. Gingrich. Yeah. Gingrich. 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 He literally uh, told went to uh, told his wife in the hospital while she had cancer yes. that he was going to divorce her. He couldn't that's wait that's till that's maybe a week later when she didn't have cancer anymore or it was taken <laughs> care of. Values, yes. What, Kapala? Family, family values, right? Yeah, yeah. but I mean, I, I just that one always amazed me. I think uh, she's in the hospital with cancer. It's a good time to tell her. <laughs> I mean, she can't Surprise yell back. back at me, you know. I mean, she's got all those drugs in her. She's like, you know, it was ridiculous, you know. Tucker Steve. Yeah, but toy. how much money did that man take home probably when he left Congress? Oh, yeah, yes. Tucker Steve, were you trying to say something? Yeah, I'm going to show you something. What? He wants to show you his toy. Oh, oh, no. oh. That's, oh that's very nice. That's a gem. Were you making that much money driving a truck? <laughs> uh, eight, I bought this for eight thousand, eight thousand dollars. What? How long ago? Uh, just last uh, August, last summer. You got a deal. So when are you putting an engine in it? <laughs> <laughs> I already got an engine. It's five point seven liter V eight. God damn. Yeah. Wait a minute! You can actually get a Corvette for eight grand? I don't think so. I hear you. Uh, yeah, you what was for wrong you with? Sure you what? can. What? Sure you can. Just go on Facebook Marketplace and just uh, do a search for Corvettes, and there's a whole ton of them on there. For that price? No. Yep. Oh man, that's it. Wow. But they're older. And, and this yellow one beside it, that's my that's my grocery getter. That's your grocery getter. Mm. Yeah, my Kia Seltos. Okay. Yeah. Is, is that is that and what is that where you park outside your apartment? Uh yeah, this is our townhouse. Oh, okay. All right. That's very nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so what do you, now? What are you showing us, Jeff? What? The, turn on your mic, Jeff. Looks like a Stanley Steamer. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, turn on your mic. Your mic isn't on. Uh, somebody doing work around here. That's why. Uh, okay. What is what is that? 
That's a that's a German car that uh, was built in uh, around World War Two. Yeah, and you can get one person sits in the front and one behind you. It's, was it kind of like a was it the whole of, half of the car to get in? Was it kind of built like a motorcycle? Uh, kind of. How many wheels? Four. Four. Wow. Yeah, the two big ones in the front and two little ones in the back. Wow. It's yeah. it's something that they used to do. Mandy has changed right location. after World War Two. Mandy has changed location. I bet that sound has gone away. Turn on your mic, Mandy. Let's see. Turn on your mic. Is I don't it, think so. I'm still getting oh. static feedback. No, it's still, it's still there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I it's probably her neighbor stealing her well, Wi-Fi. We should congratulate Mandy. Her team clobbered the other team last week. Two oh, yeah. bulldogs. Y yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. How much? What was the score? It was some amazing. Like Sixty-five to seven like three or something. Yeah. Sixty-five to seven. Uh, yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, <laughs> yesterday was a parade, and two a player and a recruiting staff member were killed. Uh, over the weekend yeah. oh yeah yeah right after uh, yeah yeah he was coming um, i think he was coming back he was coming back from the celebration right yeah yeah and also uh, one other person also one other person got killed in that crash too so you know yes yeah the girl oh, that was driving is, was is football driving over driving yet i want to know office. Because I no, 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 I want to tell if I can see the thing is I can't call Shecky on Sunday because he's watching football. Well, the Giants were on at four thirty. They know, did good. I'm gonna tell you, and they won. Yes, and tonight's Dallas. Yeah. Sorry, Jack. So when when is football finished? <laughs> finished. February. Early February. So when's uh, first Sunday in February? No, Super Bowl February. February 12th this year. Well, didn't it used oh, to yeah, be in women? Didn't it used to be in January? It did. It it did. Yeah, it used to. Yeah, Super Bowl used to be the second week in January. Yeah, they've extended the season because they want to make more money. money. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it basically it used to be. I remember. A football season. This is when I was a boy. Okay, but football season it was, it was like finish. twelve games. I think it was like it started in uh, uh, I end of thing September and ended in December or yeah. November. Because the baseball season had to start first, right? Yes. Now they're all lap overlapping each yeah. other because right, it's Cowboys? all gambling. Yes. Yep. Right. Cowboys going to win tonight, Charlie. I have no idea. I don't know which team will show up. Oh. <laughs> but you get, you know, if you bet on a parlay on the Cowboys, you can make a lot of money. Oh yeah. By the way, keep going with this discussion. I get to keep my uh, Emmy for another year. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, you know, I had ESPN radio on today, and it's all people you don't know going. Well, I think the. Dallas Cowboys are going to win, and I, so I'm betting on what's their quarterback, whatever that guy is. But that, you know, that should not be allowed. That. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of that, you know? And then they fired a coach at some professional That's team because like he bet, maybe it was Cleveland, because he bet on his team, his own team, and it's legal to bet in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Trucker Steve, you want to say something? Well, yeah, I think all the betting that's allowed now in sports is kind of hypocritical. Pete Rose got banned for, you know, and it's still making bets on right. his team, and but he gets banned. But yet the fans can can bet on on sports. It's kind of I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah no, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely He's still not in the Hall of Fame. No. Nope. Yeah, he should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care what anybody says. You know, if you had a parlay on Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley yesterday, oh, you'd make a lot of money. Hey, well, if I were one of these betting apps, I would uh, hire Pete Rose to be my spokesperson. <laughs> I think he is for some of them. Oh, really? Oh, wow. 
I well, think a lot now of now Sixth Avenue why... is trying to get the license to build there, this there know, was, on their building. Correct me if I'm wrong, Shaggy, really? but there was, there was a time in history where if you even mention gambling in association with sports, you're done. Right. You're done. You were toast. I mean, like Pete Rose was toast. But would yeah. he be toast today? No. I would no. hope not. He'd be hosting a radio show on ESPN. <laughs> Well, you know, they have the, the in, in the San Francisco Bay Area, they had a, a station, uh, KGO, which for a long time was the number one talk well, station. 24 hour sports now. 24 hour sports betting. Sports betting. <laughs> sports betting. Every show talks about betting and who you should bet on. And, and But again, as I say, who are these people telling me to put my money on XYZ? Right. In fact, I seem to vaguely remember that we could not on radio talk about the odds on games. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we were violating the law. Yeah. Yeah. And if these, if these guys are so good at uh, at figuring out who to bet on, why are they on the radio? Wouldn't they have enough money? Why are they on radio with an 8 a.m. show telling you who to bet on today? Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're so good at betting, why don't you just bet on, why don't you bet the whole family farm? Okay. (laughs) Uh, I'm not a better. Never have been. You aren't either, right, Shaggy? No. I told you the only thing I bet on was that we did the show in Vegas for a week, and I bet on the Indy 500. Well, I remember that when we went to when we went to uh, I think it was uh, we didn't go to Lake Tahoe. We went through Vegas. We went, to, we went through Vegas. You 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 went and hit the tables. You know. Yeah, yeah, but for like a couple of dollars, not for a big deal, because we were only there overnight. I'm a wimp. I hit the slot machines. You know, yeah, but, well, but I made money off the slot machines. It used to be you could bet, you know, a couple of quarters or some nickels. Now, you know, yeah, they call them penny machines, but you got to put six dollars in the, to get anything. <laughs> well, what I did is I, I I played a quarter machine. I made all of a sudden I I got a payout of two thousand dollars. Oh, geez. So I took the 2000, I took 500 of it and I went over and I got $5 coins. Uh Okay. And I went and played the $5 machines and I got back, uh, I made even more. Mm -hmm. And then I think I took some of that and played $10 machines. If you start playing like the $10 machines, they have better paybacks. than. Well, they're looser. They're looser. Yeah. But I, uh, you know, I did okay. I came away from there with about twenty five hundred dollars that weekend, and then over the years I put it all back, you know. Well, that's but I've happened. never been a real gambler because I hate to lose, mm-hmm. you know. Well, I like playing blackjack because I like playing blackjack, not because I'm trying to make the family rent. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. There's right. nothing better than sitting there for a couple hours and just looking at people go by and. Yeah. Enjoying the game, yeah. Bring me a drink. And now, yeah. and now we're going to have gambling in Times Square. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I was just saying, Saks Fifth Avenue wants one of the licenses. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For three floors that they would build on top of Saks, which is Mandy. You don't have legalized gambling down in Florida, do in in Georgia, do you? Um, well, there's the lottery, of course. And then they used, I feel like they used to have these stuff machines that would be in gas stations, but then they got rid of those. No, okay. Because um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But uh, my friend, my friend of mine just went to yeah. uh, the casino. It's only two and a half hours away from here, uh, Harris, uh, on the Cherokee Indian Reservation. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, what were you going to say, Paula? Tax Fifth Avenue? Yeah. Yes. Is is now ha- now has floors that are gambling? They're, they're, they're for trying license. to get a license. You, you get to pet. You get the casino to, on it's top. It's the only the casino. It's the only casino you can bet shoes at. <laughs> I think I think the world is coming to an end. <laughs> my mother worked. My mother worked in that New York store in the 1950s for 10 years. Holy cow! Wow. Yeah. Serviced everybody you've ever thought about in the. In the 50s, you name a celebrity, she sold them something, and she's 95, and she'll tell you exactly what it was she still remembers. <laughs> uh, well, you saw Gina Lola Brigida died. At 95. Well, that's who died, yeah. Marjorie. Yeah. yeah. Gina Lola Brigida died. No, 95. I didn't know she was alive. 
Was she 95? Was she 95? 95, 95. Yep. Boy, we haven't seen her in the last couple of years, have we? Uh, well, no. she's 95 or was. She was hot. She was hot. You know, as a kid, yeah. that was hot. Yeah. That was 80 years ago, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, hey, listen. <laughs> we run out this of time. Again? I always love this because it's such a nice conversation that we have. And uh, were we going out today? I didn't even look to see if we <laughs> were going out. Uh, I, I, you know, I have no idea. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, there we are. We'll have to do it again then. Hmm? There you go. <laughs> Everybody remember what they said. Oh, no. It, it went out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It went out. Hey, listen, nice talking to all of you. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we do this every Monday because we really, it's just like a bunch of friends getting together once a week, you know? If we just did this as a Zoom call, it'd probably be enjoyable. But yeah. it is a Zoom call that gets broadcast. So, you know, whatever. Or narrow cast. Uh, Rick Sheckman, thank you so much for being with us today, as always. Uh, thanks to Charlie Wallace. What does your T-shirt say? Let's see it now. What does just, it say? Just what? because I'm awake doesn't mean I'm ready to do things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, Len LaFrisco, big thank you to you out there in California. Paul Levin, our friend out in Ohio. Thank you. Marjorie Miller, who's in the next room. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Scott Boddicker, you haven't said a word this hour, Scott. He's waiting for Jack Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Vernon, thank you so much. I always appreciate your calls. Uh, Jeff, nice talking to you. Trucker mm -hmm. Steve, nice to have you here. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed about you getting that goddamn kidney, for Christ's sake. What do you have to do to get a kidney up there? Win it in yeah, the I hope, so. you know? I hope I hope so, too. And finally, Mandy. There's that chatter again, and she's got her mic closed. I don't know what it is. Mandy, thank you for calling. And you know what? we got to close this whole thing off by going to our good friend, Edward Berger, who says... That's all, folks. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.